So our entertainment today is magician Jeff Evans. His latest project has been to saw a person in half, an illusion which he has been practicing on his brother. <laughs> we are sorry to say that Jeff is no, no longer has a brother. Oh, no. <laughs> he does, however, have two new half-brothers. <laughs> Let's welcome Jeff in the Amazing Magic Show with a big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing magic of Jeff Evans. My gosh, look at everyone <laughs> in the audience. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be an interactive magic show. So I want you guys to do what I do. Hold your hands out in front of you like you're hypnotized. Perfect. And then point your thumbs towards the ground. Nice. Loop your hands over and clasp your hands together. Good, yep, and if you're doing it right, your thumbs will point towards the ground. Good, okay, Brenda, that's perfect. And then copy <laughs> me, point your thumbs sideways. Okay, a little bit further, a little bit further. If you can, point your thumbs towards the ceiling. All right, who is doing it? Uh, I took it around. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What, what, what <laughs> you guys, that's a trick. I actually have two left hands. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I'm really. It's very painful, very painful. This hand, this hand is actually photoshopped in. Oh, is that it? Oh. <laughs> now, what you didn't know is that my career actually started from a book on magic when I was 12 years old, which is proof that anything you want to learn can be learned from books. Now, lately, my newest hobby has been learning how to tie trick knots and ropes. And there's a lot of ways to tie knots. There's special knots for fishing, for sewing, for climbing mountains. There's even fancy knots like one-handed knots. So check this out, one hand, do not blink. There it is. There it is. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the coolest thing is how I untie the knot. When I untie it, I don't take the end and put it through the loop. No, I just take the knot and I kind of squeeze it right off the end of the rope. <laughs> it's a knot. Yeah, here I'll, I'll put it. I'll, I'll put it back oh, on. Oh. Here's the knot. I knew it. You knew it. <laughs> and there's other types of cool knots. There's bow knots, like when you tie your shoelaces and you pull on the ends and it disappears. But what happens if you tie a bow knot and then the ends get tangled inside the loops? This is what I call a nasty knot. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to untie. Then there's single knots. There's double knots. And if those ends get tangled inside, you get what technically is called a mess. <laughs> because it's a knot on top of another knot on top of another knot. And then my favorite type of knot is a knot. That is not. Wow. 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 And the applause cool. is deafening. Oh, for the next part, I'm going to use a different colored rope. And I use different colored ropes just to make it easy for you to tell the difference. So I want you to keep one eye on the red rope, keep one eye on the white rope, and keep one eye on me. <laughs> Do not watch me, just watch the knot. Do not blink. Do not get dizzy. Oh, oh, oh. Because faster than you can say, reading colors your world. There's a white knot on the red. Yes, it actually jumped across. How's that happen? Yeah, how'd that happen? <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's go back in time, like five seconds back in time when the knot was on the white rope. And then while well, you weren't blinking, so do not blink, 
the knot jumps onto the red rope and everyone goes crazy. Yay. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Not only does it jump in between the ropes, but I can slide the knot along the rope. I can slide it down to the bottom. I can slide it down to the other end. But the weird thing is not only is the white knot sitting on the rope, but the white knot is actually part Part of the red rope. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yay, good, good applause. Oh, that was very like nice. That. Very nice of you. You're an old time <laughs> audience. <laughs> so hard then. I, I, they're not her otherwise. It's like this, I think. It's like barely a clap otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this something in my pocket. sign language. That's exactly. Yeah. Yep. I've got something in my pocket that maybe some of you will recognize. If you know what this is, just say it out loud. It's part of a clasp on a coin purse or something. Bingo. Yeah. It's where I carry my money. Wow. Where did that one money. come from? Money. Now, this is 50 that? cents. And before I do any magic tricks with it, I need to do the gravity check. So I just drop it. And if it falls down, that's good gravity. On the other hand, if you drop a coin and it falls up, oh, wait, hold on, I just dropped it. That is not funny, stop laughing. Okay, I got it, I got it. So that makes me mad when the coin drops to the ground. When I get mad, sometimes I have to do karate. Hiya! Because I'm a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually a ninja, but I am wearing my black belt today. Right. <laughs> I hope you can see me poking my finger through that. Let me hold it up a little closer. I just poked my finger through that. Wow. <gasps> Wait a minute. Uh -huh. what Man, I zoomed in too much, I think. It's too big. I also have a bunch of coins in this little container. Now, I didn't get your names, so I need to find out what your names are. Let me add a spotlight to you. Okay, so what are your names? Well, you can tell one of the names by the name of the user. Oh, Rebecca. Yeah. Someone's and Rebecca. Then I, and then I'm the other. I'm just Gavin Grow. Gavin. Gavin? <laughs> Gavin Grow. Mm-hmm. Okay, Gavin and Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, Gavin and Rebecca. Okay, well, Gavin, know. I'm going to have you do this. I have a bunch of money in this little jar, and I'm going to give you a top-down view so you can really see, see it. I have some quarters and some pennies and dimes, and there's a nickel in there somewhere. I want you to guess how much this money is worth. But I don't Aww. want you trying to like zoom in and count the money. <laughs> I just want you to use your intuition. How much do you think this money is worth? I don't even. All right, Sean the Dark. Five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars and how many cents? Be really specific. Twenty-five cents. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Five dollars and twenty-five cents. That's exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> Except for one thing. I just got guess that. Where are you going to guess that too? Yeah. Except. Uh, uh oh. What happened? They're not really coins. It's just a picture of coins. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. It, I had a it feeling. Used to be, it, it used to be. It used to be coins. I knew it. <laughs> it used to be coins, but then I took a picture of it. I printed it out, and now it's just a picture of coins. <laughs> oh, but here's the weird thing. After I took the picture, I dumped the money out of the container and I counted it and guess how much it was worth? What? How much? Yeah. $5.25. I wrote it on the back of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I took a shot in the dark. Wow. You just read my mind. That was amazing. I took a shot on the dark and nailed it. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. I think I'm going to have some jelly beans. My brother gave me some jelly beans, which is really nice. 
No way. Oh, my brother gave me spring snakes. That's that's terrible. I got, whoa, 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 whoa. Snakes. Snakes. No way. Snakes. Oh, my God. Oh, this is, this is embarrassing. I got it. Go away, snakes. Look at all those snakes. That, that's so funny. I I'm told sorry my brother you had today, to see this. I told my that's brother today to watch out. That's the first time that's for. happened again. <laughs> Although one time, one time I accidentally caught fire. Uh, there was a fire in my studio. Um, but don't worry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fire. 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 Um, <laughs> it's okay. Situation normal. I've got it. <laughs> oh, whew. that was a close call. Fire gone. Yay, fire gone. Bye, back. <laughs> I've got a puzzle for you guys. It's inside. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I've got to do something else first. I have to find out if you know what the theme for the summer reading program is this year. Do you know what it is? Neither one of us do because we've not been told yet. Right, because this is the first summer reading program of the year. Well, the theme is Reading Colors Your World. So it's about colors and stuff. And I think there's going to be a coincidence between Rebecca and me. I have a bunch of activities. Maybe you're going to be doing one of these activities this summer. It could be listening to music or playing a musical instrument. It might be doing something with your friends, arts and crafts, riding your bike, or reading a book. So I want you to think of one of these activities, but don't tell me which one you're thinking of. Just think of it in your brain. Don't say that okay. Are, are you thinking of one? Just nod that? your head yeah. if you're thinking of one. Okay. okay. I'm going to try and guess what you're thinking of. Oh, Gaze into my eyes, and I'm going to try and read your mind. I might have to put on my mind reading glasses. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Rebecca, gaze into my eyes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> again, concentrate on, concentrate on one of these. It could be um, music, friends, arts and crafts. Riding a bike or reading a book. Think of one of these. Oh, wait, Rebecca, I have to know one more thing about you. I know that you're four years old. And what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, that tells me everything that I need to know about you. <laughs> I'm going to write down a prediction on the back of this business card. Do you remember your activity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, Rebecca, think of your activity and gaze into my eyes. Yes, I know it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep gazing into my eyes. So many eyes. <laughs> okay, I am committed. <laughs> I, I only wear these to make a spectacle of myself. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, which of these activities, music, friends, arts and crafts, riding a bike or reading a book, which one of these activities were you thinking of? Book. Yes. Yeah. Read yes, I knew that you were going to say reading a book, and I was so confident that on the back of my business card, I wrote reading. Whoa, she guessed it. If I had those five options, it would have it would have probably been harder because mine mine probably would have been music. Mine, yeah, mine would have been music. Oh, I knew that. I already knew that you were going to say music. <laughs> I own an iPod and I have all my favorite music on it. Hey, well, Gavin, I've got something for you. On the back of this card, I've got a bunch of colors because, you know, reading colors your world. So, oh, and I also have some little question marks representing mystery and the unknown. So, which of these colors, orange, red, yellow, green, or purple, which one do you want me to put this question mark by? 
Um, purple? Green? Green. Do you want it to go by green or do you want me to trade it for another one? It's up to you. Green. Okay. Why did you say green? Is there a reason? Mm. Yeah, he is. No, he's. Maybe, maybe there might be, there might be not. Well, check it out. On the back of this, I actually colored it green with a marker. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. That cannot be a coincidence. You haven't. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. How about this one? Do you want it to be orange? Red, yellow, or purple? Yellow. Okay. How about this one? Red. Oh, I would not have gone with red myself, but you know, this is all up to you. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, purple or orange? Orange. Oh, okay. Now there's one more and you would think that I would have to put on purple because it's the only one left. But if you want to change the outcome, I can switch it for any of the other question marks. It's totally up to you. No, I'm putting the purple in the purple or I'm putting the question mark in the purple. I am so glad you didn't change your mind because it actually is purple. And this one really is orange. You had it right. In fact, I think you got them all absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's Good funny because that's the order of the colors I like. Yeah. <laughs> Sad blue's not up there. Blue would have been second. Yeah. Mm. Nice. <laughs> well done. Well done, you guys. That was that was pretty amazing. <laughs> I hope you like puzzles because I also brought one of my favorite puzzles. It's in this I bag. Like I'm going to see if you can guess what it is. If you think you know what it is, just say it out loud. I'll give you a hint. Colors are involved, you know, because we the theme is color our world. Uh, but also, it's a really frustrating puzzle that a lot of people try and solve it, and they can't solve it, and sometimes they get frustrated. You know? I have a guess. What? <laughs> what? A giraffe. Yeah. No. What's your what's that, that your guess? That was her guess. I, I think I actually know it. What do you what's your guess? Rubik's cube. You are correct. Yeah, Rubik's know. cube. <laughs> Good job. Nice. Woo! It's, a it's not a puzzle. <laughs> it is a puzzle. I can't. Well, every time I've seen one of those things, I can't even try. I mean, like, the puzzle. The one with pieces. The moment, the moment, <laughs> the moment <laughs> my my brain I said, you "Ooh, color plus puzzle." That equal Rubik's cube. Yeah. Bingo! Yes, exactly. I, I actually one day I I did it. I did you it. You did it. You yeah. solved it. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty difficult to solve. <laughs> he didn't get frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually I would give this to you and let you uh, mix it up. But since mm -hmm. you are in Lions and I'm in Olympia, this is not going to work very well. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold it behind my back so I can't see what colors are facing which way. I'm going to start mixing it. And Gavin, when you're satisfied that it's totally random, just say stop. I have to literally have to zoom in. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> Stop. Okay, right Stop. here. Now here's the rule. I get a few seconds to look at the patterns before you start timing me. <gasps> I recognize that pattern because I have photographic memory. <gasps> <gasps> I recognize that pattern because again, because I have photographic memory. Okay, Gavin, you're going to be my official timer. I want you to say, ready, set, go, and I'm going to try and solve it. All right. Ready, ready set, go. Okay. <laughs> actually, go. <laughs> yeah, actually, go. You guys, it's a new Guinness Book of World Records. <gasps> oh, good job. Wow. Wow. I know. I just snapped my finger. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> oh man, this is kind of embarrassing. 
you know, we're recording this, but uh, I might have to edit this video. Yeah, we're going to have to edit this video. <laughs> Do some yeah, yeah, post-production are... editing on it. We have the okay. real evidence. <laughs> yeah. I, I am going to solve it, but I'm going to solve it while blindfolded. Well, I'm not going to blind. I'm just going to put a paper bag over my head, and then I'm going to solve it. So I've got an empty paper bag right here. Look, I'll prove it's totally empty. <laughs> totally empty. Whoa. What's in there? Oh, you That's guys, I have a bowling ball inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. Okay, now, now I've got an empty bag. Just making sure it's empty. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it over my head. And Rebecca, in a loud voice... You are going to say, on your mark, get set, go. On mark, get set, go. Okay, now, since I have photographic memory, <laughs> since I know exactly how the cube is sitting on the table, how, how close is it getting? Uh. Rebecca, <laughs> voila. Oh! Hey, <laughs> why didn't you say something? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. You should have said something. No. Oh. Just tying the wire. Uh, so funny. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca, look really close. Yeah, Is that a match? The same. Do they match? Yes. 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 Is that side a match? Yes. Yes. And that's oh, 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 yes. <laughs> that side. I mean, yes. yes. And that side. Yes. yes. Wow. And the top? Yeah. Yes. And the bottom? bottom. Yes. Good job. They all match. It's a miracle. <laughs> wow. I just saw, I mean, what I just did, <laughs> this is way more impressive than this. Because a lot of people can solve a cube, but to match a pattern, that is just mind boggling. <laughs> Super awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I was quick to put that together. <laughs> I should teach you guys a magic trick. We are going to learn, uh, and actually this is just an observation test to make sure that you are really paying attention. So I'm going to show you a card with spots on it, and you just hold up the number of fingers for the spots that you see. So for instance, how many spots do you see right now? Good. How many spots do you see now? How many now? How many now? Wait. <laughs> How many now? <laughs> See, there's there's one spot there, Wait. four spots there, Wait. three spots there, and six Wait. there. Wait. I knew it, Mom. You did too. Yeah. Wait too. a minute, you got look. It's a trick. It's a trick. There's actually five spots. One, two, three, four, five. When I put my hand here, you see four, but when I put my hand here, your mind fills in the missing pattern. So you think there's probably six. So you just can't like move your fingers away. Now on this side, you see one, but there's actually two. And when I put my hand here, your mind fills in the pattern. Uh, but yeah, if you actually make this up with a piece of cardboard and cause you can, you can put spots like this on a piece of cardboard. But if you do, here's the important thing to remember. Don't get distracted and start doing other stuff like putting hair gel in your hair. Cause that's what a lot of times I'll do. I'll start putting hair gel in my hair. And cause if you do, uh, you'll, you'll realize that there actually are six spots on that side. There really are three spots on that side. And then you're going to see spots before your eyes. Whoa. How many are there? Wow. <laughs> I need to have that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there are some weird things <laughs> happening here. But I want to show you something really weird. When I was a kid growing up, there was a magician on TV called the Masked Magician. And he would wear a mask because he didn't want other people to know who he actually was. His, his mask looked like this. 
And then while he was wearing this mask, he would, wait, where's, where's my other eye? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. While he was wearing this mask, <laughs> he would reveal the secrets of magic, which is very bad. Magicians never reveal the secrets. They only publish them in books where anyone can check them out for free. Yep. If you've right. never seen The Masked Magician, this is what he kind of looked like. Suddenly the ball begins to rise. The magical spell is causing the ball to float beneath the scarf. Okay, how did the magician make the shiny ball seem to float beneath that magic cloth? You know there's a secret, and this one is simpler than you might imagine. I'm gonna teach you the floating rope trick. Watch. Floating rope trick. And to prove that there are no strings or anything holding it up, I take this solid hoop. Ah, -ha -ha. look at that, look at that. Nothing around, above, nothing. What? I'll make it float a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Wow. And still nothing, no strings, no wires. But most amazing of all, when I snap my finger, the rope flies up and sticks on the ceiling. Oh wait, there's more. Even the ring, when I snap my fingers, it floats up and it sticks on the ceiling. Wait a minute, that, that's not the ceiling. That's the floor. I'm upside down. <laughs> what? Man, the things I'll go to to play a magic trick on you guys. I saw that the floor, I, I recognized that the floor was um not the same. So I was like, there's something going on here. And then my brain There's a lot of sneaky left. stuff going on. You never know what's real and what's a mirage. Like, did you like the Rubik's Cube trick? Also a mirage. Oh. <laughs> you know, it is time to play the World Tic-Tac-Toe Championships. So I need to find someone who knows how to play Tic-Tac-Toe. If you would like to help out, wave your hand in front of the camera. Oh, there's someone. Uh, let's go, Rebecca and Gavin. You guys can help. Wow, Yay. you get to help so much in this show. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Yay. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. When I when I took the mask off, it kind of ruined my hair. Got to put some more hair gel in my hair. That's very important. <laughs> Don't worry. It's hair. safe and non-toxic. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys know how to play tic-tac-toe? It's been a couple of years, but I can still play. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna be a prediction and I'm gonna put it right here. So it's like in full view right behind me and I'm gonna kind of share my desktop. Okay, so I just made a tic-tac-toe board out of a, a grid. I've got some X's and O's and the, the rules of the game is you try and get three in a row. So if you get three in a row horizontally or three in a row vertically, or if you're sneaky and you get three in a row diagonally, you win the game. So Gavin, no, uh, Rebecca, I'm gonna let you make the first decision. Do you want to place your O at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H? H. H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Do you wanna go right there? Okay. I have to be strategic with my turn. Mm -hmm. That is a very popular tactic. That is very a very smart move. I'm going to go right here in the corner. Oh, I'm getting excited because I if know. Gavin isn't very sharp, I may have a chance to win. Really? Okay, so Gavin. <laughs> I see Gavin's what you mean by you're really excited. <laughs> okay, so Gavin, do you want to go in? 
A, which would be good for me, or B, <laughs> which is good, C, not so good, <laughs> D, E, or F. What's it going to be? What do you think? C. Uh, <laughs> You are not winning that early. <laughs> well, where do you want to go? C. A. C. Wait, C like apple? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you blocked me. Uh, that's where I wanted to go. I'm going to go. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, Rebecca, it's your turn now. Rebecca, do you want to go at A? Or B or C. Or or, or D, I, I guess. <laughs> D. Yes. D like dog? <laughs> D like dog? Actually, no. Oh. <laughs> Is that dog? <laughs> where do you want the where do you want it to go? Uh, do you want to go at a no. or B <laughs> or C? Gav Gavin's beside himself. I think I think Gavin <laughs> wanted me here. to go there to you block there? you, to which block is probably you. smart. <laughs> yes, you picked that the first yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! That was a roller coaster. <laughs> this this is the world's funniest tic tac toe game. Okay, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> okay, so Gavin, do you want me to go at A or B? <laughs> um, so I only have two options, and if your X is, what was A and B again? Uh, so do you want to go at A or B? B. Oh, that's where <laughs> I wanted to go. So I have to go there. And that means right. that nobody won. It was a, nobody. we Whenever call this I a cat's play, game. That's how it worked. Yeah, we call it a cat's game in the business because it's a tie. Here's the important thing. On the back of every one of these tic-tac-toe pieces, there's part of a picture. See, that's part of a picture. That's part of a picture. That's part of... But this picture only makes sense if you and I made every single decision exactly the way that we did. Oh, it's kind of the hat. Oh, yeah, it's kind of the hat. No. Wow. Cat's yep. I guess it was a cat's game. Yes, it was. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Yeah, give, your, give yourselves a hand. Hey, I should do one last card thing. And I use giant cards to make it easy for you to see. I know, I, don't be concerned, don't be concerned. <laughs> my favorite card is in the middle. So my favorite card is right there. So Gavin, do you know the name of my favorite card? I have to guess. Ooh. I'll give you a hint, it's an ace, but is it the... <laughs> Ace of clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds. Which is okay. I have no idea. It's either so. It's either hearts or spades. Oh no, no, Gavin, Gavin! My favorite card is my library card. <laughs> That's my favorite card. Yeah. That's the best one. <laughs> and this summer, you can use your library card all summer long to check out amazing books at the library. Yeah. Yay. Very good. Oh, you guys, I just looked at the time, and it's amazing how three hours have flown by. <laughs> what? Right? Even... <laughs> Not even been well, one. It seemed like yeah. three hours with you guys. <laughs> Hey, I want to remind you that the summer reading program is going on right now. You can head into any of your, uh, head into the, the Lions Public Library or any of the other local public libraries. Be part of the summer reading program because they have a lot of fun prizes and rewards for reading. And if you want to check out magic books at the library, go to the 793.8 section because that is where magicians always hide their secrets is in the 793.8 section. And now it's my turn to disappear. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, 
looking great. And thank you, Brenda, for helping sponsor thank this you. and put this on. That's the end of the show. Thank you, Jeff. Yay.